Hey everybody, welcome back to Spires Outdoors and another episode of In the Kitchen with Holly, which Holly is right over here. Let's take a look at Holly. Everybody say hi, Holly. Hi, hey, everybody. So, what we have on the menu is a toss-up right now. Uh, we had a bunch of stuff come up, but we're still going to make some food for y'all. That's a promise. We did have a bunch of stuff come up, though. Hi, Denise. Mm -hmm. How out, out, Hi, Outdoor Adventures. Uh... We got, there's a lot of stuff going on still. Is it mom? Yeah. Hannah's trying to call. Okay, so we are, we are waiting for some people to hop on here right now. We got four people watching. Hey, John, how you doing? Nice to see you on here, bud. Happy Valentine's Day, everybody. You might not have a lot of viewers tonight because of Valentine's Day, but Saul's on here. How you doing? Holly's about to cook up some venison. We're going to wing it. We're going to wing it. Uh, we were going to do the pheasant. Stuff came up. Stuff came up. And then we were going to do stuffed venison, which we're still going to do stuffed venison. Just a different way. Just a different way than what I wanted it to be done like. So uh, it's still going to be amazing. Hey, King Sam, what's up, man? Happy Valentine's Day to you, too. Um, going to be doing some cooking. Hey, what's up, Jeff? What's up? Uh, we're going to talk as Holly's in her intermission, I call it, her intermission period is during this, which we're going to get over back on here on Holly, but when we're, in, when, let me talk for just a second, when we're in Holly's intermissions, hey Pat, how you doing? Uh, Robert Emmer, what's up man, Bill Witchman, how you doing? Got 11 people watching, that's pretty good for being Valentine's Day, that's awesome, that's awesome. But anyways, while we're in our intermission... When Holly's kind of taking a break, and well, not really a break, but doing other things, um, when we ain't really explaining on what to do, we're going to talk a little bit about tomorrow's giveaway and stuff like that. It's going to be an awesome giveaway. Thanks to the Rooster Ranch right there, the Rooster Ranch. Thank them guys. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit about that. Um, but anyways, I'm going to turn this back to Holly. She's going to do a little explaining on what she's going to just wing. Okay, she's going to wing this completely. But again. Tonight's episode of In the Kitchen with Holly is brought to you by all my sponsors, but especially Hunt Chef up here, because that's we just got off the phone, had a good conversation with them guys today. Uh, they are out of taco takedown right now, but expect that to be made soon. There's some very exciting news coming up with those guys as well, with what they're going to be bringing out. But what's up, Brett? Um, lots of good things coming from Hunt Chef. They do have a lot of seasonings in, in stock, though. But right now, I'm going to turn it over to Holly and let her kind of explain what's going on. Don't really know what's going on here. <laughs> um, but we're going to do some tenderloin and some chops. The tenderloin, I'm going to attempt to stuff them. They are a little bit thinner than they normally are. So it might be a little more difficult. And I'm going to stuff them with some cheeses mixed with some spinach and kale. Because we are trying to lose a little bit of weight here. So we're going to do a little bit more of a healthier session here. So that's, that's about it. Okay, so how, what are you going to start off by doing? You're going to use that. Probably going to end up starting with the cheese, um, getting that sliced up. I could shred it, but, you know, why, why do it the easy way? Let's, let's be difficult with things, you know? Okay, so showing that battle axe right there. That's a battle axe made by Hunt Chef, which are also out of stock right now, but coming soon. And you want to talk about razor sharp, be very careful when you hold that thing. I see, uh... Hey Karen, how you doing? Uh, what you got, Tally? <laughs> Rubbing palms, Robert Emmer said. Love cheese. Yes, cheese is good. Right now she's gonna give that a quick rinse down because Holly is thorough about all all the cleaning of products before we use them. We've never used that yet, so. This is the first time using it. She just cut the cheese open and she must not have liked something on there. I don't know. Who knows? Did you find something on there? It's just the darkening of the metal. Oh, okay. No big so. deal. Just washed off and... Bada bing, bada bing, bada boom. It was yeah. probably seasoned. It, I mean, it could be, but I don't... Watch that there, blade, so. baby. I always worry about her when... I always worry about her when she has a hatch in her hand, especially when she's been mad at me a little bit. Ha, ha, ha. I love them passes. Denise is scared of big knives. Yeah. I have one of those battle axes. Love it. Yeah, they're awesome. They are awesome. 
Everybody's saying hi, Holly. Hey, Are you still finding ice to get on? Uh, hold on? Yes, there's ice. There's ice. Sounds like somebody's at the door. See what I'm saying? Michael's on here. How you doing, Michael? Um, what's that, baby? Well, it's kind of leaving black on there, huh? Yeah, I think it's just from the... Because that's... Uh... Huh. I don't know what the heck that could be from. Next slide, if it does it. There, it's not doing it now. Is it? Yeah, a little bit. Is it? Go ahead and use something else. We're going to go ahead and use something else. But I like that. I know. I'm going to have to get it cleaner. Okay, so she's going to have to thoroughly clean that. So the battle axe is out of the business right now. But I will say that it sliced amazingly, and I was able to actually use good pressure to get the cheese done right, and now I'm very upset about that. Now what are you going to use? Now I'm going to use my regular kitchen knife. You can use the rump? Hmm. No? I'll save that for when I'm slicing tomato. Okay. All right, so right now she's just going to slice up some cheese so I can I can talk back to you guys for a second. I know you guys like looking at Holly better than you do looking at me, right? But right now she's just going to slice up some cheese. Um, she's really slicing it up. Well, some for this, some for that. Okay. She's going to do a little mixture. I don't know what she's got going on, but we're, gonna, we're all going to see it firsthand because I don't even know what she's doing. Mine's 10 years old, no oil on now. <laughs> yeah. No ice nowhere I know of. Robert, there's still some ice, man. There's ice down there on Maya. I wouldn't say it's safe ice, but I had a buddy on it today. I didn't do too well on the fish, but there was there was uh, definitely some ice there. It's, you know, we got real... March is going to be super cold, so we're going to have a lot more ice to come. Uh, and it's skimming over on Harrison's Island, but it's, 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 you know, melting when the sun comes out. But here in a couple of days, you know... Who knows how that's gonna go? So, anyways, I want to talk a little bit about that giveaway because we're on like a she's just cutting up cheese right now. So, um, tomorrow's giveaway is awesome. It's totally awesome. I was told to make it two giveaways. Uh, I'm not. I'm gonna make it one giveaway. I'm gonna make. I'm, it's gonna be. It's gonna be two giveaways in one night. I should say. I was told to make it two different giveaways, but it's not. So, tomorrow's giveaway is awesome. Uh, it's gonna be. There's gonna be a setup for Harsons Island. A crappy rod, brand new. Brand new crappie rod. I'm not going to tell you exactly what kind. I'll show you guys tomorrow. There's going to be a jigging rod for walleye jigging and a setup for that. So you're going to get the best of both worlds. Two setups for what's coming up and what's going on right now. Uh, brand new, complete combo for you guys and stuff to go with it. So tomorrow's giveaway is going to be absolutely huge. And the people watching right now are the only people going to have any types of hints or anything. Everybody that comments gets a spot. Anybody that throws super chats gets another spot. That's how it's gonna go. So, uh, they're both amazing setups. They're both equal of value. One's a little more than the other, but whatever. It's it's awesome. Um, but anybody who comments gets a spot. Anybody who comments gets a spot. So, and then like I said, you guys are the only ones. I'm not. I'm not gonna post about it. I'm only gonna tell about it right here. Since you guys are watching this, you're the only ones that get the. Sneak, whatever you want to call it about it. Um, everybody that comments gets a spot. Everybody that throws super chats and super stickers, they can have another spot. Uh, just like last time in the Latham giveaway. Um, but that's how that's going to go. So, And then we're also going to do, we got a little bit of merch we want to, do we sell it? Yeah, yeah, we got a little bit of merch too. So. I do have to make up a few things though. Who knows how tomorrow's giveaway is going to go, but it's going to be awesome like always. So we, they go kind of wild. You guys know how that goes, but everybody watching right now is the only people that are going to get the hint because I'm not making a post, but I'm just going to put my live up. You guys are going to be waiting for me to go live tomorrow at 8 for my giveaway, and that's it. So everybody here gets first hand, and, uh, and, and the first, you guys, that, that's it. And when, and when you guys are throwing those super chats and super stickers or whatever you're going to do, I'm not going to announce. I'm just going to thank you guys, but you guys are going to get wrote, wrote down for an extra spot. If it's five dollars or whatever you get one if it's ten dollars you get two or twenty dollars you get three we're not going to do thirty dollar ones so uh we're just but this the amazing giveaway somebody's going to be there's quite a few people going to be happy that's what we can say 
So, anyways, my ride I went a couple weeks ago was ready for Wally. Awesome, Bill. Awesome. Um, the rods tomorrow are... <laughs> they're nice rods. Let's just say that. I'm not going to give it all away. But everybody that's watching tonight got 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 the little bit of a, a extra there for tomorrow's giveaway. That's how that's going to go. And I'm not going to bring it up again. This is where it was. This is where it was at. So, those of you watching, know what's up. Got my 12 pack from Hunt Chef. Thanks again for the discount code. You're uh, you're welcome, Robert. Scroll back up here. Hey Frank, how you doing? Uh, Brent Jackson. Peyton's doing fine. Peyton's doing fine. Uh, what's going on there? I don't know what just happened, but Bill Wishman did something here. I don't know. I don't know what that was. Did Sean Jr. make them rods? Uh, they are sitting right over there, and he's at work. When he gets out, he's about to make them. Um, they just got delivered today. They just got delivered today. I know he's going to be able to make one. Won't be ready till tomorrow or the next day. He's, he's going to do as best as he can to get them done. Uh, I think um, that's him getting home. I think that's him getting home right now, actually. So we'll actually ask him when he pulls, when he pulls up in here and ask him what's going on. Um, but everybody... Every, uh, I'm doing good, Frank. Other than not having a damn vehicle, but we'll get to we'll get one. We'll get one going. Um, but anyways, uh, Robert, you will love them seasonings, absolutely. Um, so everybody that's here watching now gets a little bit of scoop about what's going to be going on with the giveaway tomorrow, and you guys are the only ones that knows about that. So, uh, oh, Bill Wishman threw a little super sticker to you, huh? Oh, thank you. Looks like a lemon. I think, or an orange or something. I don't know what that is, Bill. Now I see what's going on. I couldn't see it on here, but I see it over here. Uh, thanks, Bill. We appreciate you. Um, yeah, if, not good. No horses I own bluegill tacos tonight? No, no, not tonight. Uh, the pheasant, the tacos, all that stuff's coming up, but we just couldn't do it tonight. Oh, it's a peach. Okay, a peach. I see it. On here, it shows up yellow. So, <laughs> doesn't it, hon? Yeah. Does that look like a lemon? Yeah, kind of. So, that's I also weird. Found my glasses on, so. We found, uh, you never found a trans? No, John, I did not. I did not. Not yet. Not yet. Had to share some seasoning. Nice. Yeah, not too much. Don't give him too much. Made a pot yeah, roll. Hey, Michael, I'm telling you, that stuff's the bomb, man. It's going to be used tonight. But we've mixed it up. There's Ken Seth throwing up the crappies, man. Yeah, there's some there's some fishing to come. As soon as I get a vehicle going again, which hopefully will not be long, I got a squirrel tournament that's coming up. I've already entered. I've sponsored that squirrel tournament. I threw some amazing merchandise for a raffle there for somebody to win at that tournament. I want to be there, so I'm signed up for the tournament and I plan on winning it. But we'll see what happens. I we it'll well. As far as outdoors, man, we'll get it going. We'll get it going. Uh, 21 people watching right now. So all you guys that know about the giveaway tomorrow, that's the only people that's going to know how it's going to go. But everybody that comments gets a spot anyway. Free spot. So anybody's game. Uh, if you want extra spots, you know how that goes. So anyways, you ready to talk a little bit more about what's going on now, hon? I am not, but go ahead. Okay. You are not, but you're going to anyway, right? Right. All right. So I'm just going to throw in with the chunked up mozzarella. I'm gonna throw Show in. them that. Show them that chunked up. She cuts it up. She chunks it up real fine. Uh, Throw in some cream cheese, some sour cream. I've got a kale and spinach mixture here. I'm going to throw a little bit of that in there. Hey, Sean, I need you back down here in a minute. Okay. So she's... Which is seasoned with the... Uh, Oh, where's it? Big Sexy Beast. Big Sexy Big Sexy Beast it was seasoned with. And they're just going to mix it all up, right? Yep. With a little bit of garlic powder. A little bit of garlic powder. Because I didn't feel like chopping garlic tonight, and I like garlic. Alright, so she's just mixing that in there nice and fine. So while she's doing that, while she's doing that, I can get back to some comments here. Might try to go tomorrow. Good luck if you do, Harlan. Only have four squirrel, four squirrels so far this year. Oh boy. 
the pole winners get a fish get fishing with me absolutely yep it don't I'm gonna talk about it more on my more on my uh giveaway tomorrow about that you pop any master uh Josh yes I actually caught two uh, one was 11 just over 11 and the other one was 10 and three quarter uh, me and my brother branch had five that broke 10 and a half inches so there's some big fish over there but we had to work hard for them now if you want to go over there and you want to catch cleaners you can catch your cleaners in a couple hours and be out of there but me my, you know we like to go for the we like to target the bigger fish so something says I can't wait to go uh, also in that giveaway tomorrow um, we're not going to give it all away, but somebody's going to win a Dirty 30 from Banger Hand Tied Jigs, and somebody's going to win an Ice Puck from Thump and Soft Plastics as well. So Sean, uh, oh, reconnecting, we're back live. He's, he, he's just now opening his blanks here. So when are you going to start on him, Sean? He just got out of work and he's already ready to go. Tomorrow uh, afternoon I'll be starting on him. You got work in the morning? No. Can I expect you to start one tonight? I'm going to start one tonight, but I'll All be right. working one more tomorrow. And here's the blanks. How many is there? Four. There's four more upstairs. That so be working he's on. got eight blanks total. And there's the blanks. And then let's see what kind of handles he's going to be using this time. There's still more coming in the mail. I don't there's still more handles coming in the mail. I, I know you guys are excited about Sean Jr.'s rods here. Uh, Blue Water Customs Rods, he's named it. No, these are real, okay. real bands. Here's the real bands. Right I think there. That's all that comes Them are your real anchors. Is that all that comes? The real anchors today? I think so. We'll see. Yeah. Yep. Okay. So real anchors come. So Friday, I believe the handles are coming. Friday, the handles are coming. So the handles will be here Friday, but he can start on these. No, you can't. You can't. You gotta wait till the handles get here. So when the handles, you, you still have a couple handles though. You can yeah. Get, you can get one going tonight. Yeah. So if we get one going tonight, guys, 30 people watching right now, Holly. 30 people watching. So, any more explaining right yet? No. Okay, kidding. Holly, don't want to put it on her yet. The ratio done here. She's just getting the ratio right. What's, what's the ratio? I'm going to turn it to you for that. What's the ratio? Whatever consistently consistency you like. Winging it. Wing it. Wing it. Uh, hey, Sean, very excited for... Your new hobby yeah. a lot of people are excited a lot of people want to get his rods uh we're going to do one more raffle we're going to do one more raffle on facebook uh and then after that he's just going to sell them outright i believe right but i think yeah. i think there was something in there that he said he's going to donate one to the channel to give away so mm -hmm. we'll see how that goes it's his rules his way whatever he wants done with that we're going to kind of let him run the show on that one so uh Somebody's gonna get lucky and get I one think of these. The girls might be in the mailbox right now. The girls might be in the mailbox right now. Yeah, well, go ahead and take the cargo down and go grab them. So we might see. Wait till you guys see these new handles. Wait till you guys see these new handles. If that if that's what's in the mailbox, you guys are gonna be super excited. I know I'm super excited, but I can't have another ride until all you guys get yours. Out of all these blanks that he's got, these ones and the ones upstairs, I get none of them. So the one rod I do got is the one rod I have, but that's fine because we want everybody else to have them first. So. Uh, I ain't made one for myself yet. Yeah, he don't even have one for himself, I, and he's got to make John Latham one as well. He's getting so, one before I get one. He, he's, he's getting one before he Sean Jr. even gets one. Uh, I bought a little cheese smoker. Going to give it a try with some venison jerky. Heck yeah, there you go, King Salmon. Where's the mailbox cheese? Dan Gark says, I got to bring mine over yet. You didn't. What do you mean you got to bring yours over? You didn't drop them off today? I didn't even look in that bag. I don't know what's in there. Do you think... It's still going to be open water tomorrow. Harlan, with this cold snap tonight, I don't know. I honestly don't know. I can't tell you that. I'm going to do my fishing report tomorrow as well. Actually, I'm going to wait. I'm sorry. I'm already late on it anyway. I'm going to do my fishing report. Uh, I think I'm going to do my fishing report tomorrow anyway. We'll figure it out. But, uh... Is it a bluegill, Josh? That's awesome. Yeah, I don't know either. He's going to fix my custom rod seat for me. Oh, okay, I got you, I got you. Yes, I do have the thump uh ice puck. I did not look in that bag yet even, Dan. I We've been so busy today, I did not even get a chance to look in there. Um, but these rod blanks, I don't want to... I don't want to... 
give too much out about it because Sean will get mad at me. But these line through, what, what he does, these are hollow carbon blanks. And they're absolutely, I mean, so sensitive. And they got a great backbone. 43 inches. So here's a tip, which we put a spring bobber on there. And you shrink tubes it. And it's got, you can see this backbone goes all the way to right about here. So his line through comes right about there. And runs off that end and that and you get your handle by the and I'm telling you when you can feel the fish breathe on these things it's they're absolutely amazing he spent a little bit more on the blanks but you get what you pay for anyways we're back to in the kitchen with Holly so I think Holly's ready to do some talking and Sean was at the grips I can't, still got to find the keys, I oh okay know. um I have no idea anyways we're gonna get back to Holly here go ahead hon uh, one second Okay, we're waiting a second. But look at how beautiful that bat. Look how beautiful that venison is. Look at that, y'all. Look at that. Right there we have chops and we have tenderloins. And right there is her mixture. Okay, now what's in that again, babe? That is sour cream, cream cheese, mozzarella, kale, spinach, garlic, and of course a little bit more of the big sexy beast rub. Big sexy beast rub. Okay, now what are you going to season the venison with? The Canadian carnivore. Okay. Canadian carnivore. That's it so far. She thinks that's it so far. So, right now she's going to prep these. I'm going to attempt to slice these to where I can stuff them. They are, as you can see, a lot thinner than I thought they were going to be. A couple of them are a little bigger, but... Yeah, I'd go ahead and cut that tail apart right off. I'm gonna, so I'm gonna start from the other side. Okay. She's just splitting that thing open. You don't want to go all the way through. Here, just give me that. I'll chew that up. All right, you can mm -hmm. throw it away. Whatever, I'd chew it on it. Gross. All right, so. When she's ready to do, uh, oh, we gotta turn this around. When she's ready to start stuffing that, I'll turn it back. But right now, she's just prepping it to stuff, kind of splitting her open, you know, but not cut all the way through. Uh, the pheasant, Dan, uh, Bob Barham, we never met up yet, and we didn't have enough to do for everybody. We have uh, my father in law's here for dinner tonight, uh, Sean Jr.'s home. Um, we thought we had more than we did, but we ate more than we thought. So, <laughs> Bob Barham's gonna be meeting up with some pheasants for us so we can do that. That's what happened with that, Dan. While you're sitting around, take them rods I dropped off and take all the hardware off for your son. <laughs> He's going to fix my custom rods here for me. Okay, I'm, I'm caught up on questions. Uh, blame it on Sean, Pat says. You don't, know where, you don't know where the keys are? No, you're the last one. Are they, the still in the, are they still in the rendezvous? No, they're not. They're not. Hopefully you can find them. So she's just going to town right here on this. But anyways, this stuff smells amazing already. This stuff smells amazing already. But the pheasant is coming up soon. It is coming up soon. And I'm still gonna do that pot pie. Low carb meals or not, I'm gonna figure it out. We're doing low carb meals, guys. Uh, I've been at it now for six days straight. Uh, I've been on the carnivore diet, meaning I've only ate meat and cheese. That's it. Uh, and eggs. I had some uh, egg and cheese, but I've been on the carnivore diet. I'm going to switch it up a little bit because I'm going to, I need to eat a little bit of vegetables. I have to. So um, I'm still going to be carnivore, okay, but I'm going to, I'm going to put some vegetables in with it too. I have to, you know, so carnivore vegan. <laughs> and you'll never hear me say I'm a damn vegan because I'm not. I love meat and I'll always eat meat. <laughs> Take it how you want it. <laughs> I butterfly them, so bias curious. layover, cream wrap, and pound flat to make them bigger, easier to stuff. Okay. Yep. All right, John. All right. Hallie's got this down. She knows what's up. She knows and what's up. I We're winging it. Suggestions are always welcome. Suggestions are always welcome. And that's a good idea, John. But uh, I don't know if you'd... I don't know if that really worked well with how thin these tenderloins are. I really don't know. What? 
No, nah, not tonight. I think you done lost the keys. The keys cannot be lost. If so, you the last they have them, they vegan can't. ice cream at night, yeah. Not, not for me. I won't eat no more ice cream ever. If I have to be vegan, I'll never touch it again. Never. I will never touch it again. Nope. Absolutely not. I mean, was it good? I can't lie. It wasn't bad. Uh, but reading it, no, not for me. Not for me at all. I just love the way venison smells. Uh, <laughs> just, we love, we love venison. Classic wrap. Couldn't spell it. <laughs> Stay away from white bread and pasta. All bread. We're, I'm cutting out 99.9% um, .9 of all my carbs. They're gone. I'm never touching them again. Well, I can't say never. Uh, but I'm feeling a little better. You know, as it is already. I don't know how much weight I've lost. I don't think I've lost any. Which makes no sense. But it is what it is. So... We'll see what goes on, you know. Like I said, I'm on day six of this, so we'll see how it goes. I think what I'm gonna do. Okay, let me turn it back to you. Let me turn it back to you. These are a little bit smaller than what I expected. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, because obviously I split them open, but I think I'm gonna stuff them and then just kind of lay one on top of the other and cook it that way. And just season the heck out of them. Yeah. Just Very good idea. So that way it's more. Very good idea. Meaty. Yes, absolutely. Okay, so that's what she's gonna do. She is going to do what she just said. She's gonna. Whoa, guys! I'm shaking all over the place. I will eat a pack of for you. No, you won't, Pat, because you're a diabetic. <laughs> Anyone uh, think about morales? I know there are several ones. Uh, I'm always thinking about morales. I love picking. I love foraging. I love it. I love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. I'm actually gonna do some more videos on that this year. Um, we love to for forage. Avoid soda and greasy chips. Yeah, there's uh, no. I don't drink soda. I drink water. Holly, I'll tell you, I drink more water than I probably should. Um, I don't know that I probably should, but I, I do drink a ton of water. And when I do have something flavored, it's my coffee in the morning, and it's my Powerade Zero, and that's it. Uh, which is rare for me to even have those. What do we get them once a month? Uh, Six pack of them, mm, eight pack, whatever. Eight pack, and I think maybe twice a month. Twice a month. Okay, hold on. We're gonna turn this back to Holly because look at what the look at this. Look at this. Look at that. Yep. Just do them all the same way. That looks good. That looks good. And then obviously I'm gonna season it. And I didn't get the cast iron out yet, but I am gonna sear these before I put them in the oven. I'm gonna sear them before you put them in the oven. That looks like a veggie dip. It almost does, yep. It sure does. They smell good. It smells real good. Alright, and then you're just going to top it off, huh? Mm -hmm. And here goes the other tenderloin over the top of that tenderloin. So right there, folks, that's how you make two tenderloin, two sets of tenderloins come into... Almost like a, I don't even know what you want to call it, but. And then, on top of that, we have chops for cooking. Now with the chops on, uh, how are you gonna prepare those? You're just gonna. I'm just gonna do those like normal. I'm gonna, I'm gonna probably cook those directly just in the cast iron. Okay. Um, the, these tenderloins are going to go in the oven. Though. Okay, all right, so, all righty. That looks good, but. No low kale. Yeah, this is actually well. It's low carb. It's low kale. carbs. Um, we're we're cutting on, out all the carbs, John. But, uh, there's not too many. There's actually not too many calories in this at all. Um, like total with the with the cream cheese you put in there. The cream cheese has got a lot of calories in it, but not that much carbs. So we're just worried about the carbs. So. I mean, I guess there's a lot of calories in it. Yeah, there is, but again, I'm not I'm not worried about the calories because I'm constantly busy and active, so. And this ain't a diet channel. The only reason we're doing what we're doing is because, you know, obviously I need to go on a little bit of a diet here. I'm not happy with my weight. Can I still get around and do a lot of things that a lot of people can't? Absolutely. Can I still climb trees 30 feet high and put the tree stand up? Absolutely. Can I still walk five miles to go ice fishing? Absolutely. But... I don't like the way I look. So, 
A lot of people say I look good. A lot of people say, man, you're fat. It's just, it's whatever. It is what it is. I want to be back to the way I used to be. Not the way that I used to be back for people that's known me for a very long time. Not back when I was wild and crazy, okay? Uh, not back Not back when I had no neck and and that was stupid. That was stupid. That was yeah. extensive workout and, and it was stupid. It was literally stupid. But I want to get into a healthy weight where I feel healthy, so... That's what that's what I want. Oh, I'm missing her getting the seasoning on there because I'm talking away. But yep, she's she's seasoning it up real good. Robert said I have to make that for my brother that's coming from Cali tomorrow. Heck yeah, man! It is looking really good. It's smelling good. And hun, can I throw some suggestion in there? I mean, you can. This is gonna this is gonna blow people's mind. Throw a little bit, just a little bit of taco cake on that. Just a little bit. Also, another thing that would be really good is if you had sliced fresh jalapeno layered on the inside. Do we have, we don't have fresh, do we have any jalapeno? I will not use the jarred stuff in my cooking. Okay, all right. I, just, I won't do it, it's okay. just too all much right. vinegary all right. grossness. So, all right. Um, can't find the keys, that's not good. You can see they're seasoned well, so. And then she's got a little bit of, what is that, butter? That is oil. I'm gonna put a little bit more though. A little bit of oil in there. What kind of oil, extra virgin? It, no, it's just vegetable oil. Oh, okay. That's not good. That's cool. Either way, I'm not gonna worry about it. I'm not gonna worry about it. So she's gonna get those going and and uh, we'll see what it'll start smelling like. And then as soon as it starts smelling real good, it's gonna go in the oven. And I, uh, I'm not gonna get to taste it yet. Uh, don't blame you. Holly, they turn to mush. They do, they do turn to mush. They yeah, do. Yeah, and it just, it has that real vinegary taste to it, and I'm just not, yeah, I like using fresh seasoning. It's definitely not a fresh, fresh seasoning. Vegetables. Them, uh, uh, Sean, them keys have to be around. I swear to God, they're not. I haven't seen. Did you look in the center console? Yep. Okay. Hold on, hold on. Text your sister. Oh my gosh, Callie checked the mailbox the other day. Yep. Text your sister. Yep. Callie's got the I'm keys, not guys. Be able to get them tonight. No. Yeah, she's gonna have to run the mailbox keys in. She can run them in in the morning when she goes to work. That'll work too. So Anyways, I wanted to show these guys those handles, though. That really sucks. It does, but I mean. Anyways. She's uh, gone. You gotta forgive her. Some smoked red peppers would be yum. Yes, there. yes they would. They would. We didn't get a chance, like I said. We had so many plans. We were going to bacon wrap these. And we were going to throw uh, different vegetables in here as well. And we were going to bacon wrap, wrap them. And I tell you what, uh, we just couldn't make it happen. I went and got the stuff for the giveaway tomorrow. And I had a lot of stuff wrapped up. And... It's just been hectic around here. A lot of things are going on. I'm not reaching out to too many people, you know, but there's a lot of things going on. And and we're kind of stressed out around here right now. So, um, we're making it happen, though. We're making it happen. We're making it happen. And you know what? I'll never give up on I will never give up on you guys because you guys never have given up on me. So, she gave it back to you when you get, she gave you all the mail. Okay, so they're still looking for keys here. This is starting to smell really good, guys. And it's not even in the pan yet. And I, the aroma, if you guys at Owen Hunt Chef, you know the aroma is absolutely amazing. So, uh, again, since there's 30 people watching right now, 29 now, I'm going to say it one more time. Tomorrow's giveaway, everybody that comments gets a spot. Everybody that puts $5 gets next spot. Everybody that's 10 gets two. Everybody that's 20 gets three. That's it, though. I'm not doing 30 and 40s. Not, it's not a John Latham uh, custom painted box and three other giveaways but we're going to do three giveaways tomorrow oh, no, so it's going to be fun it's going to be fun that's your last and final warning on the stuff tomorrow but everybody who comments has a free chance and you know how random.org goes sometimes it can be that one person that just said hi they get themselves a spot so uh i want to thank my moderators of this channel you guys have been awesome you have not i have not seen any bad stuff go on tonight i've seen a few pop up on the live last week for the giveaway and uh well there, there's one right there. You know, I had to say something. There's one right there. Moderator, go ahead and take care of that jack wagon right there. That's how I'm going to put it. Go ahead and take care of that. Thank you. Thank you, Pat. Uh, you moderators uh, have done awesome for me. And the moderators are going to be getting a free uh, free Spars Outdoors uh, something. 
I think we're gonna do a free out as far as outdoors long sleeve uh, like long sleeve tee or something Right something like that hun my moderators are all we're gonna figure it out so you guys are awesome uh, Good job Pat. I really appreciate you and and keeping up with those with those haters on here the spam kids the kids that ain't got nothing else better to do in life. The video gamers. Yeah, thanks. Thank you, my readers. You guys are doing an awesome job, and we we appreciate you. And here at Spars Outdoors, like I said, we it's like a family. I don't even. We're all. This ain't like no other YouTube channel where we connect and we go out fishing and we make fishing trips together and we make plans to go fishing together and. We talk to each other, you know, on here or in a message or whatever. Somebody has a question or, and you guys show up to my seminars, which, you know, you guys are all awesome. Hey, Bill Wishman, thanks, man. I appreciate you, man. That's what, Bill Wishman just sent you 20 bucks, huh? Thank Super you. sticker. Thank you, Bill. Thank you. Okay. So, uh, let's get back to Holly here. Boom. I'm going to flip these over and just season the other side before I put them in the pan. They probably just seasoned right there. <laughs> a little bit, but. Well, I'm saying once you flipped it over, the seasoning will probably on the pan. You could just flip it back over, but that's okay. No, no. She loves the hunt chef. We all love the hunt chef. The hunt chef loves us. Don't be afraid to season these guys. I mean, you don't need a, a lot to do what you do, but I just, I love the flavor of this stuff, so. Absolutely. Yep, meat. Thank you, Pat, for picking that up. Another idiot, that's okay. So here it is. He's gonna just sear it a little bit before it goes in the oven. There's the keys, okay. In the diaper bag. In the diaper bag. That's where most things end up. Usually. Uh, Ground Hunter, uh, we got venison tenderloin, stuffed venison tenderloin that's going in. And then some uh, venison chops. You smell that? Look at Holly. Look at Holly over here. She is. <laughs> it sounds good. It smells good. It looks good. And she's getting the chops ready now over there. Uh, again, this was brought to you by. Hunt Chef. All my sponsors, but Hunt Chef, Hunt Chef, and all my sponsors. Uh, yeah, it's going to be good. I can't wait to taste it. I cannot wait to taste it. Again, thank you, moderators, for keeping up with all the people on here. I mean, it's so awesome. To, as soon as they come up, they're gone. And that, Love you it. guys are amazing. You guys are amazing. It makes it a lot easier for us to be able to do this and not you know, have to worry about this it. This is supposed to be enjoyable and not, not have to deal with some little jack wagon you know so you guys uh what state you in i'm in michigan ground pounder we're michigan we're from michigan uh where can i get the hunt chef seasonings ken uh you can message them on on instagram or you can go to huntchef.com uh all one word hunt chef just like this huntchef.com um and i got a discount code so uh as soon as you want to order let me know send me a message i i can actually send you the link right to them and you can go ahead and message. We just he, we had a good talk on the phone today. He's very busy right now. He's it's been a, a show after show after show with them guys, and and they're doing really good. So Montage. Okay, we're from the Port here on Fort Gratiot area, like right there. We're like right on the borderline of Port here on Fort Gratiot, but we go all over Michigan, man. This is a Michigan channel, and we're gonna take our hunts and our fishing experiences and. Ex what expeditions and whatever and camp we're going to go all over the state so like we always do uh oh here come here comes the idiots again and there they go just like that here they come and there they go here they come and there they go thank you guys thank you thank you moderators But yes, Ken Sets, uh, just just let me know. After this live's over, send me a message. I'll send you a link. So, 
Thank you, Pat Allen. You're on top of it, man. You're right on it. You're very good at, at moderating this channel and, and uh, Kelly Crick as well, but I don't see him on here tonight. I don't see Kelly on here. He probably was earlier and I didn't see it. No, I don't see him on here tonight. It's Valentine's Day. I understand it. I harvested two eights and three doe this year. Hey, you had a nice season. And good job on the eights and the doe management and the deer management all around. Good job. Congratulations, Ground Pounder. That's awesome. Good job getting rid of them. Absolutely good job. Hey, Sean. Holly, happy Valentine's Day. Hey, hey, Hoss Cal. Thank you. Uh, happy Valentine's Day to you, too. Absolutely happy Valentine's Day to you. Uh, yes, I do trap. Uh... I'm going to be doing trapping next year. We didn't get we didn't get our fur harvests this year. We had a baby, and just just you know I love trapping. Uh, mink, muskrat, beaver. My dad is well known. He's a very good trapper. He's well known all over the state for trapping. A lot of people called my dad a lot of times to come take care of the the problems they were having. So there's going to be some very good trapping videos coming next year. You guys, I promise you, got some really trapping next year, and um. It's going to be fun. Yep, absolutely. We, we do it all. We love to hunt. We love to fish. We love the outdoors, period. We love to get the kids outdoors on this channel. This thing, I do veterans giveaways and kids giveaways and giveaways every week and weekly fishing reports. And, and I just bring all my stuff to you guys, man. So it's a, it is. It is a lost art now. It absolutely is. But you know what? We still love to do it. We do what we do. And I don't care if a muskrat's only worth two bucks, you know, but okay, so Sean's got his handles here for his rods he's building. Okay, so let's turn this what to Sean. Color? What color? Just any color, just show him, show him. Pick one out. Okay. Got split grips. No, no, oh, right there. there. Scooch over a little bit. Right there. Now you're going to have split grip by Blue Water Talk. Eva, Eva Foam and Cork. And Even they're really comfortable. Cork. I feel that they're really comfortable. They are very comfortable. There's cork inside of the foam, so then, absolutely amazing product. Yeah. Holy cow! So he's got all different types of colors. All different types of colors. And then all different color fuel acres. So there you guys have it. He's gonna get upstairs probably right now and start making some rounds. Yeah, you know. I so am. here he goes. I'm excited about uh, it. Um, he, he, he don't really like to go live. <laughs> Sean, so, Sean Mariner says, hey, bud, let me grab a dish. Hey, man, stop on over. You can come get yourself a slice, buddy, anytime. Okay, hey, this is where I'm going to go in the oven. Pat says, I only, uh, trap skunks and possums in my yard. Grandpa, I have a trap to prove a point. Appreciate the sub, Ground Pounder. Absolutely, thank you. So this is ready to go into the oven. Holly says I'm going to turn the camera back to her. It is looking delish already. Like I'd eat that right now, but how long's it got to go in for? Until it's done. Till it's done. Okay. So it goes in. It goes in till it's done. What color combo should I do? I will let you guys know when it's done. What time it took. So she will let us know when you are baking it on what. Uh, 350, 350, 360 ish. 360 -ish. It does look awesome. Had three small dough in the backyard tonight. Nice, Pat. Nice. There'll be nice dough next year. Good job on picking up that, Pat. Appreciate that. What color you have a short on putting a pinky in a trap for proof of point. I've done that stuff too, man. I've done some crazy stuff. I actually stuck my hand in a 220. Uh, not smart. It wasn't, it wasn't very smart of me. Not recommended. Not recommended. I went, watch this, hon. Pow! And I was like, didn't even hurt. Bruised for a month. <laughs> I did, uh, I did some crazy stuff with some traps. Uh, what's this like? Can I ask you a question really quick? Please, please, please. No. Nope. No, I'm sorry. No question. You're gone. Welcome aboard, Ground Pounder. Jeff Sands says, what do you think of 10 dough per hunter here? I think that that's a good idea in a lot of spots where there's some spots that just don't have the the deer as other spots do. But the spots that are highly populated with does, I think that's definitely, I think that's definitely a must. I really do, uh, in my opinion. I really do. I really do. You know. So, uh, Sean, uh, is this gonna be for the raffle? 
for that or which one? Do one for the raffle because this is going to be Latham. Yeah, red and black no matter what. Like yep, so just do the... Do that with the Galaxy. You got a purple? I got a right there. Yep, do that with the Galaxy. There you well, go. I just did a Galaxy. I want to change something up. Okay, do it this then. There you go. There's only two acres of woods. I am reconnecting. I don't know what happened there, but I'm back live. You should do a Spars Outdoors fishing meet and greet where everyone can show up and fish with you and hang out. Uh, Outdoor Adventures, we're actually doing that. Uh, we're going to be calling it the Sparbecue. We're going to be doing that in Pine Grove Park, right down here in downtown Port Huron. Uh, we're going to all have a... Everybody's going to bring a dish if they want. Uh, we're just going to cook and we're going to have some fun. And we're going to sit there and we're going to talk fishing, talk hunting, whatever you guys want to talk about. It's going to be a great time. Uh, that's going to be coming up. It'll probably be July-ish. july -ish depends. Maybe June. June, July. We're going to be doing something like that. We'll, we'll let you guys all know with enough time to Thanks, do. Pat, for picking that idiot up. Appreciate that and getting rid of him that quick. That's how that goes. Thank you. Uh, yes, I do trout fish. Absolutely. Absolutely, I do. I do... Uh, so the other handles will be here on the 17th. They're going to be full handles, same color. Same. Full handles, same color. So there's going to be a lot of options with trout rods coming up. So, uh, I like the trout fish. I, I'm not really a stream guy. Uh, I do like to catch fish in streams. I can't say I'm not a stream guy, but... That's what, if you want to start fishing in streams, I will gladly go sit on the bank and watch. I know, I know. Fishing and well, we have stream fish. You I know. love we, it. We, we've caught a lot of salmon and stuff in the streams. But I like to troll on my boat, so. I like uh, I'm just saying I like the scenery and the beauty. No, of the I never did fish the trout at a tournament. Uh, have not. Nope. Golly. They need to send a doe hunt for some at least. Yeah, they do, Grizzly. D. Yeah, I agree with that. Like they do down there in Macomb County, they need to do the same thing down in, in St. Clair and Sandalac County. Absolutely. Uh, yeah, we're walleye guys. We're walleye guys here. Uh, walleye, salmon. Perch, crappie, gills. We love it. We love it. When is the next, when's the next Veterans Giveaway? The next Veterans Giveaway is going to go right along with the giveaway, not this Thursday, but next Thursday. Oh, another announcement i got to say. Uh, In the Kitchen with Holly from now on is going to be on Tuesdays at 6. Tuesdays at 6 o'clock it will start. It will roll right over to probably 7 o'clock, but Tuesdays at 6. With us having the baby and her having a bedtime and she wants to go to bed when she wants to go to bed. Tuesdays at 6 is going to be in the kitchen with Holly from now on. But we're still keeping the giveaways right now at 8 o'clock. Okay. So, every Thursday and every Wednesday and every weekly fishing report. So, I'm, a, I'm three or four days late on it right now. But lots going on. So, um, walleye is a way of life for real. It is. We love walleye, man. Yeah, we love walleye. So the next Veterans Giveaway is not this Thursday, but next Thursday. It's going to be a Veterans, Kids, and who knows. You never know how my, you guys know. You just never know how my giveaways go. Um, pretty soon it's going to be some fishing trip giveaways coming up like last year. Uh, it's going to be an awesome time. So there's no reason to extend Doe Hunt. Plenty of time already. I do agree with that, John. I do agree with that. I think more or less take the early doe season away. And extend our late doe season. That would be more beneficial. And I think a lot more, uh, a lot less poaching would take place as well. But who am I to know? Thank you, Dan. Yeah, let them know. Let them know. When does the smell start running? Good question. There's, we got a season where we can use our big nets. They're usually running before that. That starts next month on the 20th. Next month, next month on the 20th, you're allowed to put your nets down, but the smelt are running. I'm going to tell you right now, there's smelt in the system right now. Oh, yeah. There's definitely smelt in the system right now. So, March 20th is the opener. Yep, that's right. Yep. And, uh, that it's, they're running right now, trust me. Um, you get a big wall right now and you open up the stomach, look what's in there. You get a coho right now, open up the stomach, look what's in it. If Holly needs a little bit of walleye, let me know. Uh, John Latham's actually going to drop some off. We could always take some walleye, Bill. We could always take some walleye. We thought we had enough. We really did. And I had, It doesn't help there's some weeks where we have fish two to three times a week. Either. Yeah, we, gotta, we do have fish two to three times. Uh, last week we had fish four times. 
We eat too much fish sometimes. <laughs> oh my goodness, I love fish. But they're good. They're good. They're awesome. So let's go ahead and look at these chops here. She's got some chops going. Look at these things. Looking good. They're looking amazing. The rest of that concoction is going in the pot to be melted down so you can pour it over your meat if you have chose. <laughs> okay. All right. Some look about done almost. Well, no, you just. There, I'm back live. I'm sorry about that. Let me just uh, do this real quick. Internet, Wi Fi, see ya. Done. I hope I didn't lose you guys. There we are. I'm back live. Um, when is the best time to troll for coho in the spring? You know what? Every, you, this year is going to be way different. This year is going to be way different. April. April is the, the month. April is the month to go. But there's already guys getting them. So, uh, but they're not getting them like you do on that. The fish, the, the system's all messed up right now. Usually we're still ice fishing. Uh, usually we got ice up until April. Uh, we're going to get real cold again in March and have ice up until April. But it's just crazy the way this has been. Um, so, uh, anyways, uh, Sean got it. This is what you, the rods are going to look like. They're going to be split grip like this. Well, this has to go down a little bit farther. It will. This will go down a little bit farther. But they're they're going to be split grip like that. So, this is going to be one. This is the start of the one that's gonna be raffled off, guys. But yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be a a weird year for sure. Where is the cauliflower mashed potatoes? We're cutting back on the carbs, Pat. The cauliflower mashed potatoes will be coming. I do want to do. Um, What's a cauliflower mashed potato? It's basically mashed potatoes, but it's made with cauliflower. I can't eat potato. it. Yes, you can. Also, I, I want to do I some can. in the air fryer. Just cauliflower, like with some kind of. Uh, seasoning or something okay so there you have it there it is it's, it's, a, it's a it's a messed up year it is yep it is so this is going to be the next one raffled off on and i'm, I'm going to wrap it off on my facebook page sean spar so go follow that page if you're not following it that's where that these get raffled off but he is going to end up donating one to the channel and i'm going to do a giveaway what do you talk you burn yourself you cut yourself. So Holly's over there cutting herself with the uh, fillet knives that Sean left in the sink. With the fillet knife that Holly left in the sink. That Sean left in the sink. That Holly left over there last night. <laughs> look at the look she's giving me. Ready? <laughs> Are you okay, babe? No, I'm fine. All right. You might not be later. You're also a big trapper too. Awesome. Awesome. I love people that love the outdoors. I absolutely do. Yep, you're gonna need a little paper towel, huh? We got something beeping around. Something saying check. All right, so we're gonna take a look at these guys. Woo wee! Woo wee! You gonna slice into one? Lately done yet? Yeah, they still got a little bit to go, but still got a little bit to go. Yep, I see that. So it looks like we got another what? Six minutes? Something like that. They just were in for ten, so so another six minutes probably. Yeah, he looked really lost a little while. Oh, Sean, I just peed my pants just now watching your face. Yeah, yeah, I'm like, what? I. I gotta cut back on carbs and potatoes are nothing but carbs. What is cauliflower potatoes? I don't know what they are. It's literally you, you cook cauliflower and you like mash it up and you can season it. And it's like the It's like a mashed potato but just cauliflower. Yeah, it's the okay. keto version. Alright, it's the keto version of mashed potatoes. Okay, awesome. Awesome. It is looking good. Yes, I do go duck hunting. Absolutely. Uh not as much as you should. <laughs> My son and my buddy Jojo got me back into it this year. After 15 years, I stopped. But, uh, Sean, go ahead and grab my uh, duck calls. All right. I want to show you how much I used to duck and goose hunt. Uh, and this is one lanyard out of many. Um, I've got collar bands. I've got... I just want to show you guys. i got to show you guys. Cauliflower pizza is good, too, Sean. Okay. All right. I'm Boy, mostly steam on my bed. Just use cauliflower instead of potatoes. I got it. All right. I never knew this stuff, guys. 
Because you don't listen. So, this is, there's even a pigeon band on there. I got a band. I got duck bands. I got goose bands. But, yeah, I did a lot of duck hunting and, and over the years. And this call right here, okay, I just called given to me when I was 15 years old. And as you can see, it's taped up, all right? It's taped up. It's an old, old, old call. But it's still... You'll get a good sound out of it. Not as good as Peyton was sleeping. It's 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 an old call. You, you know you got this one. Still a good call. Then this one, the old night and hail. Still makes a good sound. Yep, I duck and goose on. Absolutely. Uh, well, this was my first year back at it in a long time. I only went a few times. But next year, I'm going to hit a little harder. I'm only 11, so I just got into it. Nice, nice. You have a big beard. Ah, uh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> we are men. We don't listen. Just ask my wife. Yeah, I know. Just ask mine. Same thing. Got to eat earlier than 9 o'clock. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yep. That's yep. why we're doing the... Uh... That's why we're going to go down to 6 o'clock. We're going to do In the Kitchen with Highlight at 6, 6 o'clock on Tuesday. Uh, that's one of the reasons, anyway. We hear what we need to hear. Yeah, we do. Not necessarily true. Not necessarily true, she says. So she's over there still scrubbing up that battle axe. I think I got it now. I think it was just a patina on it. I think it's just because it wasn't washed, and then when I washed it, I didn't do regular... Okay. It could be the leather from that sleeve too. Or that sheath. So. Alright, these look done, hon. Well, this one here. You want me to do it? We'll go ahead and roll that. Go ahead and roll that. Roll that. Just flip them. You did? Yeah. Oh. Quit touching my thing. I'm sorry. I'm I'm messing around with Holly's kitchen. Hey, Bob Barham's on here, man. Nice to see you finally on here. Um, you're about to see some stuff come out of the oven here real soon, Bob. Uh, oh, you just got home. Okay. Oh, hon, you ain't gonna believe it. Bob said he went out and bought us a brand new 2000. Well, hey, look at it. what? Okay, so we got some time to cook. Not much. I mean, Not there's much. blood coming out, but look at the. Yeah, it looks beautiful. Look at how it looks. It looks beautiful. Oh, I'm wrong. I'm got you at the ceiling. It's looking good. As soon as that blood is just beyond dripping, it'll be done. Well, I mean, it's to taste, too. I mean, there's a lot of people out there that don't have to have their meat blackened in order to say it's done. Yeah, I like... I My venison, I like pink through the middle of it. I don't like blood. I just can't stomach it. Hey, Dennis, good evening, man. Nice to see you on here. Yeah, Bob Barham bought us a brand new 2023 Chevy Silverado. Yeah, you're dreaming. Anyways, <laughs> back to reality here. Yeah, back to reality. Um, These are pretty much done. They just need to set. Okay. They're pretty much done. They just need to set. So that's how quick it took for them to be from dripping blood to ready. Well, I mean, the thicker pieces aren't quite done, but... We'll, we'll, see, we'll see what she does. Everybody hit that like. Everybody hit that like. Hey, Nate, what's going on, man? I think we got to check what's in the oven, right? Uh, just about, yeah. Another minute? Uh, less. Less than a minute. Awesome. It smells so good. I can't wait. I can't wait. I'm going to close this up over here. I shot my first duck this year it was a buffalo head drake hey nice duck to shoot man nice they're a fun duck they're a fun duck uh i love mallards and wood ducks they're my my favorite to hunt and i love goose hunting um just just i just got out of it after, you know i lost a lot of spots lost a lot of people that used to go and i kind of got out of it and the kids and jojo got me back into it this year and I still had to show them, you know, what's up and how to shoot and how to call and 
had to show them what was going on. So she just pulled this out of the oven. We're gonna take a look at this. That looks done. It looks done. It looks done. Stuffing is actually kind of falling out of it, but hey, you can scoop it up, throw it on your plate. Little blood still coming out. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and slice into one. You don't want your meat overdone, Sean. No, you don't want it overdone. No, absolutely not. I don't want it underdone either, though. It's a little pink. I'm good. I still got time. Little bit of time left. Little bit of time. Three minutes. Little bit of time. Little now bit of time. Now squishing all the guts out of it. It's okay. I live in Virginia, so it's not that. So it's not that good. Oh, okay, gotcha. Hey, I just wanted to stop and say hi. Hey, Noah, how you doing, man? Everybody, chop, chop here. Man, I'm telling. Give me another one. <laughs> wow. Mmm. Just this is. What do you think, hon? Woo. Mm, it's good. I when think that's. Cast iron skillet makes a big difference. Mm hmm. Oh, beautiful. That is awesome. That is amazing. That is amazing. You guys, have, if if I, I can't even explain how good that is. I can't even explain how good that is. Oh, my gosh. So, Sean's putting his real bands on right now, so. They're real tight, so they're going to hold it. Oh, they'll hold that real, real nice. Them are nice bands. Yep, yep. Can you some help? They're they're a little hard to get on. Wanna tell a little secret? Hmm. Show you. I try stretching, it'll help. Well I can't tell you a little secret because I'm hard to put on. Yeah, I know. But I believe I don't know. You figure it out. I will. I just have got the first one on. Okay. Just don't break the rod. So I believe these to be done now too, hon. I guarantee you they are. My mouth is watering. It is really good. It is really good. She's pulling these last ones out. Putting them over there. And then we're just going to... Probably we got... It looks like another minute left on the oven. That's good. She's soaking up that seasoning, boy. She's soaking it in there. There it is. All right. Look at that, y'all. Take a look. I tell you what. That's right, it's eight. And it was delish. Tell Sean I'll bring my rod to the seminar. Uh, Dan's gonna bring his rod to the seminar. He's gonna, you're gonna fix it for him. Can guard. Okay. Okay. You knew about it. Huh? You knew about it. I believe so. That's the one he was talking about when he brought me to work that one day. Yeah, probably. Dan Gart from Dublin. Mm hmm. Yeah. It does look awesome. It does. But I got to run a few errands. Okay. Chris, let me push this. Nice to see you here, Noah. There you go. That's perfect. Yep, so. He's going to. One of these grips needed to go down here. It could go down there. But I think Actually, it no, I like there. it like that. Yeah, I mean, so we're going to keep them like this. That's your That's real cool. grips right there. It's going to hold your reel really tight. It's going to hold your reel really tight in there. And there's no weight in this at all. Oh, yeah, he's going to epoxy it. Don't worry about that. He'll have it epoxy. Oh, yeah, that's going to happen. That's gonna, that's gonna happen tonight. I'm gonna try to get oh, yeah. done. That kid's on it, Dan. He knows what he's doing. So, he's getting the plates ready, so it's almost time to cut. I want, when you pull it out, I just want you to cut an end off and just we'll show the camera what it looks like. Just the end cap. So, here we go. We're pulling it out. I know it's done now. 
We're pulling it out. Or she's pulling it. Pulling that bad boy right out of the oven. And it looks good. It looks delicious. Let's go ahead and make a slice like right through there. Let's take a look. Oh, Dan, you know we're going to enjoy dinner. You know it. Is that a doll one? Yeah. Uh-oh. I got to sharpen that, eh? Yeah. All right, so she's going to bust out the salmon, her uncle, and cut through it. That's good. Let's just show them the end of that sucker. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Look at that, guys. I'll get you up and close in there. Hold on. Let me put a little bit of this back in there since All I right. tried using a dull knife to cut it. Kind of falling apart here. Kind of falling apart. It's so done. But that's it, y'all. And Holly, you got anything to say? you want to add in there? Thanks everybody for watching, right? Absolutely, <laughs> thanks everybody for watching. So, that's it for tonight, y'all. We're about to eat. Just a quick recipe, quick throw together. Uh, we didn't bake and wrap it like we wanted to, but uh, it looks absolutely amazing. I can't wait to eat it. I'll see you guys tomorrow at 8 for the giveaway. Those of you that did not hear what I said earlier about the giveaway on this, rewatch it. So... Everybody have a good night. Uh, thanks again for watching. Thanks for the new subscribers. Um, Thursday, tomorrow at 8 o'clock, I'll be going live again for a giveaway. It's, a, it's an awesome giveaway. And if you miss it, like I said, just rewatch this. Um, I'm not going to post it. I'm not going to broadcast about it, about, about what I told you guys. So you guys get a little upper advantage on that. So we'll see you tomorrow. And thanks, everybody, again for watching In the Kitchen with Holly on Spars Outdoors. And we'll see you tomorrow night.